I just want to tell you, stop with the alcohol, stop with the drugs. Today, June 14, 2014, I pray that you're watching. Uh, well, I know somebody's watching this, but I pray if you're watching that you please put down the beer as you're watching this. Put down the drink. Put down the marijuana. Even after you finish watching this, just eliminate those, those things. You don't need them to get rid of your problems. What you need is a clear mind to come up with a game plan, a strategy for the rest of your life. The alcohol, the drugs, all they do is numb. Uh, they, they take you away from the problem right now, and, and tomorrow that problem will be there. If you can remember it tomorrow, because you might wake up after partying all day today, after drinking and drugging all day, you might wake up, if you wake up tomorrow, you might wake up and forget anything. But during that day, as you sober up a little, you will start remembering, oh my God, I still have bills, I still have marital issues, I have relationship issues, I have family issues, I have issues at my job. So drinking and drugs do not eliminate those issues. Sobriety will give you a clear mind to come up with a strategy to tackle those issues, to work on them, to correct them. Not every issue can be corrected, but you need to come up with a strategy and you need to have a clear mind. That's what you need. I will put this short video on my uh, website at www.clearviews.info. And uh, a lot of people have wondered what the clear uh, stands for and I just want to tell you it's community lessons empower addiction recovery that was the first thing that came to my mind during my uh, initial stages of um, um, uh, sobriety which was probably the first two weeks that I came up with that name and I just uh, thought of the name uh, because I wanted to give back to community the community being you watching the community uh, being my community around me. It could be in church. It could be at the stop and shop. It could be anywhere. That is my community and uh, My lessons that I've learned from my addiction is what I want to give out to everyone out there to you and um, I, I hope to God that uh, you utilize some of my methods uh, uh, One of my strongest method is by helping you yes you you listening right there is helping me because when I help you, when I tell you how I go through day by day on uh, battling this disease called alcoholism and whatever battle that you are uh, uh, trying to defeat, uh, whether it's uh, marijuana addiction, cocaine addiction, alcoholism, uh, it could be hairspray, it could be any addiction to drug or alcohol, me telling you about my stuff is keeping me alert. It keeps me focused up here, knowing that I'm constantly thinking about alcoholism, about addiction. Because the minute I don't communicate these things to other people uh, is the minute I might forget. And it sure as hell can happen. Although it's been since June of 2013 uh, that I've been sober, uh, it could happen anytime. So we need to stay alert. We need to focus on our addiction. Uh, uh, cancer is a disease and uh, the way to uh, not maybe beat cancer but to, to uh, make your life uh, uh, last longer is uh, with chemo and treatment. Uh, so consider your addiction um, an, uh, a disease that needs to also have some sort of uh, chemo uh, and that chemo would be uh, educating yourself about your disease and how to conquer your disease and how to live with it because conquering you know once an alcoholic always an alcoholic I'm gonna be an alcoholic 25 years from now still the thing is is that I live with it I learn to live with it I learn to uh, to to work around my alcoholism I learn to to make things better uh, in my personal life with a clear mind not with um, beer not with vodka not with marijuana so those are the things you need to work with uh, is it easy? Absolutely not. It's it's a struggle each and every day. Uh, I have went to Dallas. I went to New York City. Uh, I went to different airports. Sure, it was tough to, to look at those bars where before June of 2013, I wouldn't hesitate and stop and have a beer, have a shot of Jägermeister or whatever uh, to calm my nerves, to not think about problems. But uh, all I was doing really is, is uh, intoxicating myself and, and hurting my life and hurting my personal life and hurting uh, people around me and that's all I was doing so uh, it's not it's not easy and I know that 
Uh, so you need to just work with it. You need to take one step at a time. Today, if today is your first day that you're doing this, don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about today until 12 o'clock tonight. Then a new day starts. Then you repeat. It's a pattern. Repeat. Just do it over and over again. And you'll see days will go by quickly. I hope to God that you don't relapse. You don't fall off the wagon. But uh, I will just say this. If it happens, pick yourself up, dust your knees, and start again. I hope to God it doesn't happen. But not everybody can be that strong. Uh, thank God it didn't happen uh, since June for me. Uh, I don't predict it to happen. I fight every day to prevent it from happening. Uh, but um, there, there are some people that are weaker in their mind. Um, and, um, you know, they're not ready. I mean, I've been down that road. I tried so many times. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And it didn't happen. Uh, but since June of 2013, I've been sober. I've been clear. I've been doing very well. Um, I constantly want to communicate with you folks to let you know how well I'm doing because I want you to be in that same predicament. I want you to be able to wake up this morning, or not this morning because we're awake, we're watching this. I want you to be able to wake up tomorrow morning knowing that today you didn't drink and you're able to remember everything you did today. You're able to think with a clear mind and you're able to look forward to, to uh, not having that, uh, the dry heaves, the hangover, uh, because those are all things that I do not miss at all. I love the fact that I can wake up every morning and, and just feel good, just feel good. And um, again, it is tough not being able to go and have those drinks, but uh, it's not as tough as knowing that I could lose everything around me, including my life, my family, financial troubles, all that will happen all over again if I go back to drinking. So drinking is not even an option. Drugs have never been an option for me, except for in college, a couple joints. So I'm not worried about that. But drinking is not an option. I will never, ever touch an ounce, a drop of alcohol again. And I hope you don't either. I hope you drop uh, whatever addiction you have starting today and just work from this point on. If you're sitting there watching me right now and you have a beer in your hand, put it down. Give me the courtesy at least while you're watching this video to put that beer down. I hope to God you put it away forever. But if you are watching and you are having a beer or a drink or smoking weed or whatever, give me the courtesy and put it down. Finish uh, after I'm done. I don't want you to finish, don't get me wrong, but I can't control that. Uh, I can only tell you how I daily go through life doing what I do. Um, I just want you to all just quit. Quit, quit, quit. That is that. Uh, please go to www.clearviews.info for all the information possibly that you can find on uh, addiction of uh, whether it being alcohol or drugs. Uh, if you go to page 7, I have all the states listed on page 7. All you have to do is click on the state that you live in and that will show you a rehab center. Uh, so click on that. Contact that organization immediately if you feel that you need it right now. Do not hesitate. Uh, as you go to other pages, you'll find videos, you'll find photos, articles, games, etc., etc., etc. So, with all this said, I just want to ask you, are you ready to reclaim your life? Are you ready today, June 14, 2014? Because if you are ready, you need to be serious about it. You need to want to do it. Do it for yourself. Don't do it because your wife or your husband is telling you you're an alcoholic and you need to do it. Don't do it for them. Because if you can't do it for yourself, it'll never work. You have to first do it for you. Everything else will fall into place then. You can't do it because somebody's pressuring you to do it because then you're not ready. They are ready to have you become sober, but you are not ready to be sober. You need to want to do it. So the question is, if you're ready to do it, do it. I want to also let you folks know that you can contact me at any time, 24-7. It's not often that people give their phone number, but I will give it to you. It's 631-599-0218. Or you can reach my toll-free number, which is for my business, at one 844 
I well. That's one eight four four three nine three nine three five five. I had to transpose the I well. I E Y E well W E L L. So it's one eight four four I well. You can con contact me. Contact me there anytime, twenty four seven. You can email me at R A L F dot F R I E D R I C H S at yahoo.com. That's Ralph Friedrichs at Yahoo. You can messenger me on Facebook. You can go to, uh, you can actually also contact me um, right on my website at uh, clearviews.info. Uh, under comments, you can leave a comment there. There's also a contact form that you can fill out. There's so many ways to communicate with me because I can siphon, I can let you know what needs to be done to, to conquer well not to conquer on a daily base, not to conquer forever, but on a daily base this disease called alcoholism and addiction. Uh, so please contact me if you need me. Do whatever it takes to keep sober because uh, nothing is impossible. If you really feel that you cannot do it, you can. There is nothing impossible about doing it. Remember, a sober today makes for a better and clearer tomorrow. So drop the alcohol right now, drop the drugs right now, and start today. Make today a better day and a better life for you. If you can do that, you're doing great. If you need to talk about it, I gave you my contact information on this video. You can go to my website, you can call me, you can email me. There's so many ways to get a hold of me. Uh, so with all this said, I'm going to keep this now under 12, 13 minutes um, because we've gone into 12 minute mark right now and I try not to make them too lengthy and I don't want to lose your interest. Uh, nothing is impossible. Please stay sober. Contact me if you need me. Today is Saturday, so it's the weekend. We have a tendency of partying it up on weekends a little bit more than on weekdays. Um, so uh, let's eliminate all those uh, addictions and uh, um, alcohol and drug uh, uh, substances that we have in our lives. Let's start today, please. Have a great day, have a great weekend, but more importantly, have a sober weekend. I'll talk to you real soon.